Hey guys, Matthew Mattingly here. I want to come to you with a quick tip of the week. So I have a ton of people ask me what knot do I use for fluorocarbon. So I've tried them all. I've tried the improved clinch knots. I've tried the Palomar knots. Palomar is actually a pretty good one if you retie all the time. But the problem with fluorocarbon and some of those knots is fluorocarbon tends to cut into itself a lot. Especially if your knot isn't perfect and it overlaps over top of itself. You know, you get a couple of strands on your hook eye and they end up crossing. They will cut into their self on a hook set or a fish. So that can be a problem. So my knot that I use 95% of the time, about the only time I don't use it is when I'm using braid. And it's kind of hard to tie with that. But for fluorocarbon, it's perfect. And I'm going to be honest, I don't know the name of it. But I'm going to show you how to do it real quick. So you start out just like the Palomar knot. You go through your hook eye one time. I'm tying this on a Mox Kinto jig. Get you about two feet of line. I like a lot to work with. Take your tag in right back through the hook eye where you just came out of. See your tag in sticking out there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to even it up. We're going to put that hook eye in the middle. So you've got your loop over here, you got your tag in, your main line, I'm gonna hold that with one hand. So I'm just gonna even it out right there in the middle. You see it's right there. So what that's gonna end up doing is gonna give us two strands of line going around that hook eye. It's gonna give us kind of double the strength. And like I said, it starts out just like the Palomar knot. So what I'm gonna do is I've got my loop and I've got my main line and my tag end. I'm gonna hold that all between my thumb and my forefinger here, my index finger. And what that does is it creates a loop. Now I have this loop sticking out. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna go around this loop five times. So ultimately it's gonna end up having a loop right here. So I'm gonna take it. One, two, three, four, five. So I've got my loop here. I've got all my wraparounds there, my five wraparounds. I've got a loop right here. That's the main line and where we pinched it earlier. Now I'm gonna take this loop and go through this little circle we just created right there. Just go right through it. Okay, so now I'm holding that all in my left hand. The same hand I was holding the main line and tag end. It's going to kind of look like a V here. Here's the original loop that we just did all the wrapping around and went through with right here. Here's the main line tag in. Here's a loop that we just created. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wet this down. And I'm going to take it and pull everything. And tighten that knot up just a little bit. So we're going to end up with three tag ends. Now what I'm going to do after I've done wetted it, I'm going to take the main line and tag in. I'm going to pull just like this snug it up real good so as you can see I have three tag ends check this out so all those loops we just did all the wraparounds five times that's right here and ultimately underneath what you have is two strands just like a Palomar knot so I have fished all over the country I have been everywhere I've used just about every knot known to man I don't know what the name of this is. Um, I actually ran across one of the Opens Pros a few years back, back in my teens, and they showed it to me, and I think they learned it from Gerald Swindle or somebody like that. So anyways, I'm not really sure what you call it, but it's a heck of a knot. You don't ever break it. The two strands underneath line up perfect every time so they don't cross. That's the big thing with me is they do not cross. Cool thing is, is all those little wraparounds that we did earlier when you're in rocks or brush that's going to get the grunt end of all the nasty stuff that way your two main parts two loops underneath of there are going to stay strong and untouched most of the time you still need to retie all the time just like normal but if you're looking for a really good fluorocarbon knot that one right there is the one to go that's matthew mattingly's quick tip of the week that is my fluorocarbon knot don't know what you call it but good luck trying it let me know how it works for you guys